Yeah, as you can tell, it's an incredibly complex story. Lots of different characters, obviously an ensemble cast. It's a completely different sort of beast than, uh, for lack of a better word, than, than, doing, a, than doing a two hour film. Everybody can hear everything. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of the storytelling, it's very different because you work with a long story, that, and especially in the first two episodes, you are opening lines of, of the plot. Uh, with a very long development. Ethan, at the beginning of this, is a, he's, a, he's, a, he's come to London with a Wild West show in which he's the kind of main attraction. He's a sharpshooter, which was kind of like the you know, rock star at the time. The impression that you're, you're, once you finish, you're giving a creature that is not completed, it's not finished, which is a very strange feeling. But in terms of the style, I, I did it exactly the same if I were doing a film. Horror. Do you have a typical favorite horror icon, ghosts, zombies, or vampires that you work with? <laughs> uh, I think the vampire is my favorite uh, icon in, in, in gothic literature. The, I, th I remember when I was a kid... Uh, watching uh, Nosferatu, for example, and I was so freaked out about it. I remember also watching the uh, Dracula, the John Badham's Dracula. I, I saw it by accident when I was yeah. a, a very young boy, and I had nightmares for months after seeing that. Mm -hmm. How do you think this differentiates Because it's not just vampires, really. There's, there's about 20 different creatures in it. Now, um, when you have a series with a lot of horror iconic figures, do you have a favorite? Yeah. Like Dracula. I was always, I always liked Dracula. Dracula. Yeah. Why? I saw Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, I mean, or, or, sorry, uh, Francis Ford Coppola's yeah. uh, version of Bram Stoker's Dracula when I was probably in eighth grade or seventh grade, and I thought it was a very cool movie. So. <laughs> I will. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Yeah. yeah. yeah.